Would you like to hear the story of the boy and his goat? It's a very good story. Peter was a little boy who had three big goats. Every day he took them out into the fields. But one morning the goat said, oh, We don't want to stay here, not in this field. We want to go over there. And they ran and they jumped over the fence. Come back! Come back here, said Peter. You can't eat over there. It's not our grass. But the goats didn't pay any attention. They just ran faster and faster. That makes me so mad. I'm, I'm so mad at those goats. Come back! Oh, they won't come back. They won't listen to me. What am I going to do? He sat against the fence and cried. Suddenly he heard something. It was a rabbit. <laughs> Hello, rabbit. Hello there, Peter. Why are you crying, hmm? See those goats over there? They're my goats, and, and they won't listen to me. So? So, so they're naughty. They're bad. Can't you understand? I can't get them to come back, and they, they shouldn't be eating over there. It's not our grass. Let me talk to them, said the rabbit. I can get them to come back. I can, I can. And the rabbit chased the goats around and around. Get back across that fence, he said. But the goats didn't listen. We won't go, we won't go, they sang and sang. So then it was the boy and the rabbit who sat and cried. They sat against the fence and cried and cried. <laughs> Just then a wolf came by. A nice, friendly wolf. Uh, what's wrong with you two, he said. Uh, why are you crying? <laughs> See those goats over there? <laughs> they're my, they're my goats, said the boy. Uh, and they won't listen. So? So they're naughty. <laughs> they're bad. I can't get them to come back, and they, they shouldn't be eating over there. <laughs> it's not our grass. Let me talk to them, said the wolf. <laughs> I can get them to come back just like that. And then the wolf chased the bad goats around and around. Get back across that fence, he said. Get back. But the goats didn't listen. We won't go, we won't go, they sang and sang. After a long, long time, the wolf was tired out. He said, I can't run anymore. I'm like a rag. So now it was the boy and the rabbit and the wolf who sat and cried. They sat against the fence and cried and cried. <laughs> A busy little bee came buzzing by, down on a flower to watch. Uh, say, what's the matter with you three, she said. Why are you crying? Right away, the three friends answered. See those goats over there? They're bad goats. We can't get them to come back. Hmm, let me talk to them, said the bee. I can get them to come back, I can. <laughs> the three friends laughed. <laughs> They laughed and laughed. What can you do, said Peter. You're just a little old bee. I'm little, said the bee, but, but I'm a busy bee and I work hard. I can get those goats across that fence, I know that. Just wait and see. There she goes, says the rabbit. She thinks she's going to chase those goats across the fence. She thinks she can do what we can't do. The busy little bee went right to work. First, she landed on the tail of the silver goat. Sting! Get back across the fence, she said, or I'll sting you again. <laughs> Ouch, said the billy goat. <laughs> that hurt. Across the fence. Then the bee chased the second goat, the brown one. Sting! Get back across that fence, she said, or I'll sting you again. <laughs> Ouch, said the brown billy goat. That hurt. 
and he jumped over the fence. One more goat, said the bee. Just one more. Sting! Get back across that fence, she said, or I'll sting you again. Ouch, said the billy goat. That hurt. And he, too, jumped over the fence. Peter was happy now. All three goats were back in his field. Gee whiz. I don't know how she did it. That bee, she, she's little, but she can do things. Thank you, little bee. You, you really did help me, said the boy. And the wolf said, Goodbye, little one, goodbye. Uh, thank you for helping us. And the rabbit said, Yes, yes, uh, thank you, thank you. And that's the end of the story. The story of the boy and his goats and the little bee who helped him. <laughs>